Hello out there. In this lesson, we're checking out the drums to lithium by Nirvana. The song starts with just the guitar riff, then the drums come in. We're over on the ride cymbal and playing a rim click or a cross stick. Now, if you haven't done this before, you put the butt of your stick on the drum head, you cross over to the opposite rim and get the shoulder of the stick to just click over on that rim. If you move the stick up or down, you'll get a slightly different sound. So just muck around with it until you find something that you think sounds really good. If you keep your palm nice and open, it should make it easy to pick up your stick when you have to go back to the snare drum. Anyway, the drum pattern is fairly easy. We've just got kicks on one and the end of four, and it sounds like this. That pattern continues right throughout the verse until we start building things up, getting ready to hit the chorus. As always, if you haven't had much experience playing those quick double kicks, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. What I always like to do is use two different parts of my foot, usually the ball of my foot and the back of the toes, and sort of kick with the ball and then slide up to the toes. You can find lots of other ideas out there on YouTube if that's one thing that you really want to knuckle down. But honestly, it's just going to take a fair bit of practice just so you get that muscle memory and develop the actual muscles and endurance so that you can play that fast. Moving on, we're into the chorus. We're still over on the ride cymbal, but the pattern goes like this. The next four bars have one extra kick drum in the first bar there. It's just a slight difference, but it helps the groove to kind of just roll along and keep moving through this chorus. And then the last four bars of this first chorus just have one of those quick kick drums again. I'll play that whole section in one hit. If you're at your drums, you can play along too. The good news in terms of learning this song quickly is that from there, we circle back to the verse and then go through the chorus exactly the same as we just did it, except for the very last two bars. So let me play those for you now. Now that takes us into the bridge, and the drum part is just two bars on repeat. Here's how they sound.
think the only trick with that groove is just getting those flams to really pop. And the way to do that is to just keep one of your sticks higher than the other. Then if you bring them down at the same speed, the lower one's going to get there first and you'll get a nice little flam sound. I'll play through some more of the bridge up to speed. Coming into those last four bars of the bridge, the drum groove just changes a little bit and this is how it goes. Now, even though we're only about three quarters of the way through the song, we are almost done with the drum part. After that bridge section, we go back to the verse, which is the ride cymbal and the rim click. We have that same build up fill leading into the chorus, and then the chorus moves on to the bridge, and that's going to take us right to the end of the song. Let me just play the last couple of bars of the song just so you know exactly how it finishes, but honestly, we are almost there. And there we go, that's the drums to Lithium by Nirvana, another really well-constructed drum part by Dave Grohl. It's really fun to jam along and hopefully it's super easy to learn just because those sections are really nice and straightforward and do get repeated a few times throughout the song. Get out there and jam, have fun practicing. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.